In the last part, we saw that data can be passed from a view to a controller using the name attribute on input fields. However, there are two issues with this approach. One, you need to be careful to avoid any typos. And two, if there are too many parameters, the method can become excessively long. To address these issues, we can use a class to pass data from a view to a controller. When we use a class to send or to receive data from a view, we often refer to that class as a view model. And that is what we are going to use on this part, a new view model. In Visual Studio, I'll just go to the Solution Explorer, and then here I'll go to Data, and in View Models, I'm going to create a new view model. So add a class, and I'm going to name this view model the login VM and then click the add button. This is going to have two properties. The first property is going to be just public string email address, get set. And the second property is going to be the password. Now let us go to the login view. And here at the top, let us define that the model for this view is going to be the login VM. Now that we define the model down here, if you want, you can keep the name or you can remove it. I'll just define ASP and then four, and then the property name that I want to bind in here, which is going to be the email address. So as you can see, when you use the model, the first problem is resolved because now in here you get automatic suggestions for all the properties within this model. So it's almost like impossible to have a type in here because let's say if I type in here one, I'm going to get an error because email address one doesn't exist as a property in the login VM. And let us go to the other one. I'm just going to remove the name. And as I said, you can also keep the name is before and then the password. Now let us go to the authentication controller. Whenever we render the view, we have said that this view now expects a model login VM. So whenever we render the view, we pass as a parameter the login VM. So I'll just type in here var initial is equal to new login VM. And if you want to pass some default values, you can just define the values here in the properties. Now let us pass as a parameter the initial, or you can just pass as a parameter new login and just remove this line. Now down here, we are going to resolve the second problem, which is when you have a lot of parameters, then this method is going to get excessively long. So I'm just going to remove all the parameters from here and now simply use login VM. And then you can just define a name login VM. Now I'm going to put a breakpoint. I'm going to save all the changes and I'm going to start this project. So now here, let us go to the login one more time. I'm just going to type the same email address and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and click the login button. You can see that we reached the breakpoint. And if I hover on the login VM, you're going to see that I have the value for the email address and also for the password.